Uh, sulfur dioxide signature shows that the Fagardes wheel volcano actually has erupted. Uh, the sulfur dioxide uh, signature previously was like this, blank, completely. And then we had this swarm of earthquakes, and the 3D model of them showed that this was at a depth of 5 km. Now they're getting very close, 1 km, and getting less. The rate of that uh, speed was around the uh, rising of magma 0 0.2 kilometers per hour very fast it may have a slowed down but we have the evidence now in the form of the fumaroles this is the Geldingedaler fumaroles that yesterday we saw the last hours of the last night and then we had also similar to that in the Meridalil eruption site so the signature now is there magma has many components at least three or four solid liquid uh, mushy which is a crystals with the liquid and the gas the gas part erupts first because it's at the top of the magma chamber it comes first and we have now picked up that signature this is the fumaroles in the gelding Adler. as you saw this is now the meridally one as you can see here so the top of the magma chamber is actually reached the surface these gases are coming out now we see the evidence in this is not blank anymore. Reckonus Peninsula has a sulfur dioxide signature, clear signature now. It's a small volcano, so we don't expect something like Popocatabo, but for that a small volcano, that's significant. Magma has ch chamber has formed, is not churning and uh, absorbing the bedrock, and then will erupt after that.